now that we have our site all set up and ready, let's come up with a plan for our site, even if it's going to be a brief one. Pull up a text document here, and this, to be clear, is not going to be actually incorporated to the site itself. It's not part of the site. This is just for our own human purposes of having a plan that we can go back and refer to throughout the development of a site. This is a smart thing to always have, especially if you're working with a client. So we'll call this simply guitar site site plan. And I'll just do some sort of arbitrary styling here. And then, so let's list just a number of things that we want to make sure we include on this site. The main thing for this site is going to be the content types. This is sort of the the backbone of, of what our site is about. This is a content driven site. So we really want to make sure we get the content types uh, as we want them. Let's say we do want to include just basic articles, sort of like any magazine style site would have. Uh, and we also want to have reviews, which are going to be a little bit different from articles. Uh, articles are going to have like the basic elements of any regular article, a title, maybe an image and a body, things like that. Whereas reviews are going to have some custom elements. Uh, in, in Drupal terms, we're going to have custom fields here. So the reviews, along with the body and things like that, that the articles already have, are going to have the guitar brand that we're reviewing, the model of the guitar that we're reviewing, let's say the type of guitar, this could be like electric or acoustic or bass or whatever. And and we'll give it a rating field as well, where we sort of wrap up our review with a score, maybe something 1 out of 10 or something along those lines. Then aside from the content, we're going to need some way to organize that content to make it uh, easy for visitors to browse our site to find things. And we're going to have some uh, peripheral or sidebar information. This is going to come in the form of Drupal blocks. We're going to have we're going to incorporate some ads on the site. We'll take a look at that in a little while. We're going to want to customize our homepage a little bit and make sure that we have a contact page with all of the information that we want. And finally, we're going to want to change the site's theme so that we're not just using the stock theme that Drupal gives you out of the box. So with this brief outline written down, let's go ahead and start at the beginning with our content types. Now if we look at structure and content types, we see that Drupal comes out of the box with an article content type. This is like the primary content type usually of most content driven sites are going to be the articles whereas basic pages are things that are pages for content that's not really content usually and it's not time sensitive this is stuff like maybe your about page and things like that so we already have an article content type and we can look at the fields and we can edit it as much as we want to we can add fields from this uh, stock content type if we want to but this really has everything that we want so we're going to just leave article as it is and use the default configuration there. Go back to structure and content types once again. And we're going to add our another content type. And that, once again, is going to be reviews. We'll call this just review. Typically speaking, when you're working with Drupal and you create a content type, you create these usually in the singular version of the term that you're using. And the description here will simply be reviews of guitars. Anytime you see description or help text, this is not anything that's visitor facing. This is purely on the back end of the website for people who are creating content on your site. All of these settings we're going to keep as they are. We do want to display author and date information, publishing options. We want them to by default be marked as published and promoted to the front page. Menu settings are fine. We're going to keep all of this as is. Click save and manage fields. And now we can start adding our own custom fields to this content type. So we start off with body, of course. And we can edit this if we want to or delete it outright. But we're going to keep that because we do, of course, want our review to actually have a body, which is going to be the actual review itself. 
Let's add a field here and go back and look at our plan. The first thing we have listed under reviews is guitar brand. So that's going to be a text field. We have a number of options here. We have general, uh, numbers, reference to other pieces of content, then we have text. We're just going to go with plain text for the field that contains the brand of the guitar that we're reviewing. We'll just label this brand. Click save and continue. A maximum length 255, that's probably a bit large. It doesn't really make a huge difference, but it might not hurt to lower this down to something more reasonable like 60. You want to give yourself plenty of leeway for the outlier situations that you come across. There may be some crazy brand with a 60 or 70 character length name. That's not likely. 60 is probably going to be on the very far end. That should leave us plenty of room. So I'm just going to go with that. And we only want to have one brand, obviously, for each guitar. We'll save those settings. And our help text can say simply the brand of the guitar being reviewed. We'll say we do want to require this field because all guitars should have a brand associated with them. There's not any default value that we're going to give that they're going to start off with. You only want to use this when any given field is going to have the same value like 80 or 90 percent of the time. We're going to have some brands repeat themselves, but for the most part it's going to vary from review to review. So we'll have no default value. We'll save that setting and that's done. Next we'll go to guitar uh, model is what we'll add. So we'll add the field. This will also be a plain text field. Model. We'll go with maybe 80 here. Help text, the model of the guitar being reviewed. We won't worry about requiring this field. Maybe there are some brands that just make one actual type of guitar and they don't have really a model name, they just have a brand name. Who knows? We'll click Save Settings. Next was a Guitar Type. Add field. This will also be a plain text field. Save and continue. And we'll keep the maximum length maybe a little bit higher. Again, just for serious outliers, maybe 100 characters. We should never really get that close at all, though. The type of the guitar being reviewed and just to be clear in parentheses we could put electric acoustic etc so this is very clear to whoever's adding content on our site we're not going to require this field we'll click save settings there and go back and look at our plan and finally the rating we're going to add one more field we're not going to use text as our rating, as you can probably guess. The rating is going to be best accomplished using a number field. We're not going to use any decimals or anything like that, so we're going to simply use integer. So make sure you don't click list because it's not going to be a list of numbers. It's going to be one single number that's an integer. So we'll choose that for our field type and we'll call the label rating and click save and continue. And we're only going to have one value for each of these. And help text the subjective rating, we'll say out of 10 of the guitar being reviewed. This isn't really based on any, on any math or anything. We're just saying, no, this guitar gets an 8 out of 10 or whatever. Um, we'll go ahead and require this field. We're not going to give a default value. We don't want any value to be there that a reviewer forget to enter something and uh, it include you know a five or a one by default or anything like that. We want to make sure that they are actively filling in this field. We'll say the minimum is one and since we want this to be out of 10 the maximum will be 10. And this isn't like a dollar sign field or anything like that like any currency or anything along those lines so we don't need a prefix or suffix this number is just going to be a standalone number. We'll save those settings. And now we have all the fields we want. We're just about finished. 
Let's go very quickly to manage the display of our review content type. And we want to make sure everything's in the order that we want it. So usually I would think that we would want this brand and guitar information and the rating even uh, above the body. So let's say we want the brand and then the model. We're going to ignore links. That's not really related to the actual fields here. The brand and the model, and then the type. And then maybe we'll leave the rating for the very end. So we'll have the body, and then after the body, our rating that we're going to give it. For our labels, we'll say, I usually like to go inline with these. So it'll be like brand colon, and then the brand will be listed right here. Same with model. And then type. And then for the body, we don't want a label. We're going to hide that because it, it's going to be obvious. We don't want it to say body colon and then have the body of our review. Uh, for rating, we'll do that in line as well. And we should be all set now. So we'll save that. And now our site's content types are all set up the way we want them. We have all of the content types that we want. We have the fields that we want. And now we're ready to go ahead, take a look at how it looks.